Why? Well, there's been a lot of rumours going around. You must remember in 1974, the British establishment was uh, Harold Wilson was the Prime Minister. And there was uh, rumours about him that there, he was being investigated and being castorised as being a left-wing Marxist, Russian and all the rest of it. Also, the Conservatives wanted to bring in the Prevention of Terrorism Act, which is a draconian law. And Jenkins, the Home Secretary of Birmingham, my MP here, he refused to do it. Okay, so that's uh, the scene outside Sully Hall uh, Coroner's Court at the moment, where the coroner there has ordered fresh inquests into the death of 21 people who died in the Birmingham pub bombings in 1974. Now, that gentleman there who's speaking. Julie, what's your suspicion as to why authorities didn't act on the tip Well, that's a very good question. Uh, we, in our opinion, believe that they had informants. We believe that, they, that there was people who had um, uh, become double agents or whatever you call them and they um, were working undercover. And that, that, what you've got to remember is that after the Birmingham pub bombings there was a new law that they were trying to bring in. What's the law called? The Prevention um, of Terrorism Act. Prevention That's it. The Prevention of Terrorism the, Act. The Prevention of Terrorism Act. But the Prime Minister at the, at the time was, um, uh, was reluctant to... And we... <laughs> So we're having some problems with the audio there from outside the court. Let me Today just give... Today... Oh, we've got back again. ...is... ...the most seismic day for all of us. I hope that... A very emotional end to that speech there, but one of the relatives um, of those who died in the Birmingham bombings.